Hey guys, this is your friend Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structural Designer. So friends, in today's video, we'll discuss about some of the new features of Tecla Structural Designer, which we'll find under the option of model. So we can go to the option of model here and we'll find here the option of line ancillary and area ancillary. So if your model doesn't have that option, you can update your model for knowing how to update your Tecla Structural Designer software. You can click on the link which has been given here. So having said that, let's continue in today's video. So there are two options which are going to discuss today that is line ancillary and area ancillary. So these two options enable us to apply certain loadings for staircase, walkways, ladders, access platforms, concrete stairs, timber stairs, pipe works, cable trays. So these options are given by this new feature. So let's apply them. So suppose we have a simple slab here. We'll go to the level of the particular slab by going to structure one. Now after going to the level of the particular slab, we'll turn off the load. Now we want to apply some area ancillary loadings. So for the area ancillary loadings, let's select this option of area ancillary here and we'll define a patch so the four corners have been defined so after you define it you can just select it and you can change the type of you know the ancillary loading you can suppose we can select here let's say we'll select some platform so it's operating platform standard we have selected so the standard or default load have been applied in here if we want we can also change this by unticking on that and you can change this particular value but we don't want that right now and after this has been applied you can actually see it in your 3d view if it is not visible in your 3d view if it's not visible you can simply go to the scene content and make sure you turn on this area ancillaries and line ancillaries here so that you can make the ancillaries visible so after that now we'll apply the line ancillary for applying the line ancillary we'll just click on this and you can define the type of you know the line loads which are going to provide so let's say we're going to provide load for the pipe work and we can also define its width let's say its width will be 0.1 uh, meters and after that that is we'll apply it from here to here so we have applied the ancillary loads for our pipelines and after that we can just check our load combinations update our load combinations from here and then simply design like normal design which we do and we'll get the design results so this design results is considering the load of the platform and also a cable so friends in today's video we had shown you how to apply the latest features of line ancillary and area ancillary in Tecla Structural Designer, we will come with more videos related to this ancillary loading. So stay tuned to our channel. Bye bye.